we've got 30 seconds of work followed by a 15 second break for three rounds. It's going to go by super quick, so what I want you to do is push as hard as you can during that 30 seconds and get as much out of this as you can. We're going to start to warm up, so just a light jog wherever you are. I'm going to go through and show you the five exercises through the warm up here. So your first one is a jog, but again we're doing an easier version when we push hard, we're going to be pushing a lot harder than this. Your second exercise is jump squats, so for the warm up we're just going to do a little lift. I am not even really lifting my balls of the feet or toes off. I'm sinking my hips back. I'm just getting a little bit of movement here. Our next move is split stance. Just a slight hop one forward forward while the other goes back. Core is staying engaged. This is four, three, two, one. Then we're going to come down to the floor instead of plank. The easier option is just tapping your feet out wide to the side. So if you look at me from this way, I'm going really wide. Okay, one and then the other. Let's come back up and then we're going to go into side hops from one side to the next to finish. So those are our five exercises that I'm going to be coming at you. We're going to get started in about 20 seconds, starting back with that jog. But a lot more intense than what we just did. So I'm nice and light on the balls of my feet here. Now I'm not actually putting weight on that inside foot. It's just a light tap. Okay, so for the jog, let's go. I want you to really push, pump those arms, squeeze through the back, squeeze through the belly, keep your chest up so don't pull forward, and just keep pumping those legs. Now, if you need to tone things down, you can do the version that we just practiced in the warm up. 10 more seconds. I'm gonna really go for this. Three, two, one, time. Okay, for your jump squats, we want the feet about shoulder width apart. When you land, don't land like this. Your joints are gonna take the load. We wanna land and come right back down so our muscles are taking the load from the jump. Here we go. Come right back down. Think of a ninja landing. No noise. You're landing softly. Okay, I'm gonna start to give it a little bit more oomph. I'm using my arms to pump to help me move. My back is staying straight. So I'm maintaining good alignment. When I land, my knees are still following my toes, so they're not going in. Okay, I'll keep everything straight. Ooh, three, two. One. <laughs> Quads in that one. Oh my goodness. Okay, so your scissors. Or what's next? Most of the hops back and forth. I'm going to go a little bit bigger when we start here in two seconds. Ready? Go. So I'm taking my stance to be a lot longer. And then I'm really pumping those arms. Remember, these workouts are short. So our goal is to maximize our effort for this cardio hit. To get the most that we can. Because before we know it, it is over. Abs are strong. Three, two, one. Okay, down to the floor. Stay on your knees until that buzzer goes. Make sure that your hands are right underneath the shoulders. Your elbows are not locked. You have a little bit of a bend in them. Squeezing in through the abs. I'll show you the modification again. Just tap that foot. Otherwise, you can hop. Okay, one and then the other. Quite a bit harder. If you can't get through the 30 seconds, it's too hard. You can always just go down to the knees. You can do this 10 more seconds. Squeezing up through the belly, keep the shoulders away from your ears here. Three. Two, one, oh, back up, side hops. Oh my, definitely feeling that one. I think that one's the hardest one for me out of this new set. Okay, so that inside foot becomes weightless. Okay, as you go back from side to side. So I'm going to push off, keeping that balance. You can see I'm not going past my knee. I stop my upper body right above that leg. 
So I'm really using my stabilizing muscles. Squeezing my hips, squeezing my abs. It's all working together to maintain that balance. Five seconds. Okay, one round is done. Take a big breath. Coming to round two in five seconds. Back to that drop. So now we're repeating those exercises. Okay, here we go. Okay, I'm pumping those arms. Squeezing my upper back. And my heels never really touch. If you look at my heels, they like barely touch the floor. I'm staying on the balls of my feet. For this. Arms are pumping, abs are staying strong. Whew. Let's go hard. Pump it a little bit more. For three, two, one. Rest. So in the beginning, you can't go a lot of those 15 seconds. But once you start really pushing, you realize how much you enjoy that recovery. Okay, we've got jump squats next. Wide. Sink back to get ready. And then jump it up. Just take a look at your knees. We want to make sure that they're not going forward, okay, so that they're staying on top of your foot and your hips are sinking back when you come into that jump squat. Really important. You can't control your position. You just do a regular squat instead. We don't want to hurt our knees. Squeeze your tummy here. Last one. Woo! Oh, that's the second hardest one for me. Okay, so back to those scissors. Switching those legs and then turn sideways just so you can see my distance for these. Ready? Here we go. So you can do small, pretty easy, or go big. And notice how when I go big, my arms go big too. Okay, big pumps. Have your thumbs face up, pinkies down, so your palms are facing in. Good alignment for the shoulder here. Focus on your breathing. Three, two, one. Back down we go. Oh, this one is so tough for me. If you have tight hips, you're gonna probably find this is tough. So remember the option I gave you guys. You can just hold this when you need that break. Okay, or you can choose to go slow with the feet. I'm just reminding myself, I know this is hard, but I only have to do this three times. That's only 30 seconds, so I can do it. I can do it. Keep repeating that to yourself. I can do it. Ooh, eight seconds. Three, two, one, time. Oh. If you feel dizzy, just take a moment before you come up. You might feel lightheaded if you stand up too fast. Whew, big breath. We got those side hops ready. Go side to side. So I want you to feel that push off coming from the hips. Okay, push off and stabilize. Push off and stabilize. Oh, my there. How are you guys doing? You finding this one tough today? Okay, we've got five seconds. Right to the end. We're almost done round two. Last one over. Okay, two rounds done. One more to go. And then that is it. You got a great workout. My heart rate is up there. I'm sitting at 125 right now. Whew. Okay, back to the jog. Here I go. Here you go. Okay, remind yourself, last round, only five exercises. That means two and a half minutes total of work. That's all that is left. Okay, two and a half minutes. I know you can stay with me. I know you can get through it. Okay, modify to what version is best for you, but still push. Five seconds. Let's go, let's go. Okay. Ooh, back to those jump squats. Again, if you're landing like this or like this, Please modify. Okay, we don't want to hurt your joints. 
I'll turn sideways again a little bit here so you can see my form. So I'm sinking my hips back. My back stays straight. Okay, my chest is up. I'm not holding down. Okay, all you're doing here is getting more hinge in the back. So drop the hips, keep the chest up. We want to snowball. Do a check of those knees. Make sure that they're engaging. We got five seconds. Last one. Okay. Back to those scissors. Okay. Definitely woke me up. I was feeling a little sluggish today. This is waking me right up. I'm not gonna leave after this workout. Feel way more energized. Okay, here are scissors. Let's go. Remember, thumbs up, pinkies down, chest high, chin is up, no need to look at your feet for this one. Now squeeze your belly. Belly is strong. Again, on the balls of the feet, not really dropping down into the heels on this one. Okay, you might feel those calves working. Keep bumping, let's go. Three, two, one. Down to the floor. Take a breather. And now round three for this one. It's going to push me to my limits, but I'm going to maintain good form. Okay, so that means I'm going to rest when I need to rest. My hands are right below my shoulders. My elbows are a little bit bent. I'm not looking at my feet, so my neck stays long. I'm really squeezing my belly here. Okay, those hips have to be a little bit up. Because you need to make room to move those legs. Feel that upper body strength here. Three seconds. Oh. Oh, I'm glad those ones are done. Okay, finishing strong with those side hops. Give a couple deep breaths here. Okay, last time. Stabilize and push. stabilizing. Make sure that when your foot goes down, your whole foot is down. My pinky toe, my big toe, my heel. Okay, even pressure on all parts of the foot is really heavy. Almost there, five seconds. Three, two, one, big inhale. Excellent to go. I'm going to start our first stretch with the shoulders and just stick your hips back. I'll give you a stretch in the hamstrings. And just lock in the knee. That just means that it's not locked. Okay, slight bend. Deepen the breathing. Tighten the core. Let go of the shoulders. Just one leg. My toe is up. So I feel that calf in addition to my hamstring here. Other side. Same thing. I'm shooting my hips straight back. So I up as high as I can go. Good. Find your balance. You need to hang onto a chair you can. I'm pulling my heel right in. And then if I want a deeper stretch, I just push my knee back a little bit. That's going to help open up the front of the hip. Get a little bit more into my quad. Good. Other side. Almost there. Great job, you guys. Awesome workout today. Final stretch. I'm just going to tuck my pelvis under so I get some stretch into the front of my hip. My arm goes up and a little bit of a lean. Okay, so you want to feel your hip flexor kind of move up into the belly area and then you get a bit of a side stretch. If you don't feel anything, make sure you squeeze this back glute. Okay, squeeze the glute and thrust that hip forward and up. Okay, same thing on the other side. So I tuck under, squeeze the glute, lift my arm, and a little reach. The more you squeeze here, the more stretch you're going to feel here. So we're trying to lengthen right in front. Okay, come forward one inhale. Exhale. And you did your workout today. Have a great day, you guys. Thanks for joining in.